Animations for World of the Nerd Couple are generated by Plotagon. Visit Plotagon.com to check out the app. Jay, how dare you look at that sort of stuff on the computer? You're grounded, 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 ya, 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 ya. What on earth are you doing? Are you all right? I don't know. Just something I saw on the internet earlier. People put some really weird stuff online, especially when making cartoons. <laughs> well, since we're talking about weird stuff on the internet, perhaps the weirdest stuff is how people on the internet are reacting to the AMD Ryzen launch. Or what about the people on the internet reacting to the people on the internet reacting to the AMD Ryzen launch? Even worse, I'm thinking it might be time to step away from the computer for a bit. Indeed. Sometimes even us nerds need a break from the computer for a bit. Ah, fresh air. A world beyond the internet, where hopefully people won't act like they do on the internet. Hopefully. Somehow I knew I had spoken too soon. Shelly. Oh my goodness. How has your weekend been so far? Why are you crying? I can't believe it, Cindy. Hundreds of dollars, only to have my husband make fun of me. Your husband really made fun of you because of a computer. It was the AMD Ryzen, the most anticipated AMD CPU in years. I spent the money. I built the system. I found out the hard way that the internet was lampooning it. Doesn't the internet lampoon everything? Seriously. People are such jerks when they think there isn't a person on the other side of the computer screen. That's why I shut the computers off when I leave the office. I guess that's the price I pay for actually trying to use the things when I'm not in the programmer's seat at the office. Turns out the AMD Ryzen is a lot stronger with workstation tasks than gaming. So my husband is going on and on about how I built a wimpy server instead of a kick-ass PC. The man doesn't seriously mean it, I hope. I mean, it is just a computer. You're his wife for Pete's sake. Doesn't he know when the joke stops being funny? He's a systems analyst, Cindy. Computers are practically his life, but at the same time I'm sorry I went so overboard with the hype at the office. I gave Lauren a hard time about it. I hope she'll at least speak to me again. I should have just stuck with my sandy bridge. Well. I'd say Lauren has her own issues. I'm sure she won't make anything big of it. And I'm so sorry I interrupted your jug. For Pete's sake, we're not even at the office and it's not even a work day. Hey, no worries Shelly. I'm totally fine with constantly hearing about what troubles people. If that sort of thing was something I minded I would have steered clear of anything related to HR. Come to think of it with how much large corporations are trying to automate their human resources these days perhaps I should take some culinary classes and try to become a chef in a restaurant instead. You. A chef. Since when did you want to be a chef? Since I played house as a little girl way back in the day. I was gonna grow up to be sassy chef Cindy. Come to think of it, I'm not quite so sure if I remember why I stopped pursuing those dreams. Life. Cindy. Life. The ultimate crusher of people's childhood dreams. Life. Indeed. I don't know. Should we even go to this place now? I think cruising seems to be a stress really either if we stay on the right roads. Like you said, if we stay on the right roads. I don't see you driving, silly. Well darn. 
don't want to get the woman driver all worked up, so I'll just behave myself like a good little boy. Oh look. Someone dug out their chauvinist pig hat. By the way, I know full well you can get pretty worked up too. Touché, and live long and prosper. <laughs> right. Ah, I'll keep that in mind the next time you think you cannot make the bed just because you are a dude. I don't know, madam. What's the point of making the bed if we're just going to unmake it when we go to sleep at night? So the bed doesn't look like total ass for the rest of the day. Genius. I think that's gonna leave a mark. Hey dude. Speaking of dude. Dude. Destination ahead, dude. This place looks like it has some really good pizza. It has really good lasagna too. Welcome to Papa Ziggio's Italian Bistro. Papa Ziggio's. How many pizza shops are Papa something or another's? Hey, as long as the food is good. And speaking of food, since it was a bit of a drive here, you wouldn't mind if I stepped out for a bit and you did the ordering. Right. Oh, don't worry, my lady. I'll go easy on the spicy stuff and stick to more straight up peppers and onions. Oh, you know I can more than handle splitting a pepper and onion pizza with you. Be back in a bit. Don't start the heartburn without me. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. How ya doing? Welcome to Papa Ziggio's. Lady friend, step out for a bit and stick you with the ordering. Hey, you know how it goes. By the way, what's with the sunglasses indoors and the earpiece? You ain't gonna drag me into some dark room downstairs, right? We like keeping it cool here. And efficient, if you know what I mean. Hey, Luigi. Dude's ordering for his girl while she powders her nose or something. Got the oven ready for another pie. Bravissimo. If you want a big pie, we can get ya a big pie. Looks like the kitchen's rip rawer in. Lady Powder knows and I will happily chop away at a Pepper and Onion Supreme then. Pepper and Onion Supreme Big Papa. Pepper and Onion Supreme. You and the lady can probably talk a few things over before digging into the pie. Bravissimo. Hello. Hello. Anyone. Now I've done it. I knew I took a wrong turn somewhere. Hey how ya doing? You lady powder knows. Your man just ordered a big pie. Oh my goodness. Who are you? Nothing much sis. Just your waiter. You take a wrong turn or something. What is this place? Your torture room for bad yelpers or something. Not just our dark room that everyone thinks we have. People made jokes about us with the earpieces and sunglasses that we had some room to torture bad customers so we made one in case someone by chance wanted to see the dark room. We got to work on the signs a bit though. Hey speaking of which, how can you see in those things? You work here long enough you get to know the place if you know what I mean. Come with me I'll take you back to your table. Honey, can we talk about something? The food's on its way. Sure. Why not? Lady Powder knows. Was that you? Or the waiter? Sweetheart. When have I ever called you that? Actually the waiter brought up the whole powdering your nose thing after you left. I think the wait staff here has a bit of an edge to them. Whether they do it on purpose or not I don't know. Yeah. Tell me about it. I just came back from the dark room downstairs after taking a wrong turn out of the little girl's room. They actually have a dark room downstairs. Yes, my darling butter muffin. And you don't want to see it. <laughs> actually, I think it's all part of their gag at this place. A restaurant with a weird sense of humor. Reminds me of my boss. Long as the food is good, right. Speaking of which, pizza time. Well now, weird sense of humor and all. 
That was one heck of a pizza. Thanks for lunch, and thanks for driving on the way back, dear. Agreed. Amazing pizza. Weird as heck wave stuff. But at least we got a bit of a break from the way people act on the internet. A bit. Sometimes, internet or not, people are just people. Well hello there miss. A bit after hours, and was casual Friday really super casual this week? No. This is a first for me. I figured the peace and quiet of the office when nobody was here would be better than dealing with my husband. Should I leave you alone then? I was just taking a break from the server room. Server room? That means you're IT? Hey wait, are you? Yes. I'm the Dan you've been hearing about. Dan the elusive IT genius. Looks like I blew my cover this weekend. It's all in a weekend's work though. Code upgrade went absolutely kablooey on one of the servers, and I have nothing better to do so I don't mind. Plus I get to work in peace and quiet without the usual drama in the office. I'm a C-sharp analyst. Usually here during the week. Here on the weekend under more adverse circumstances. Well, I kind of guessed out that. Want to borrow my jacket if you leave? Just leave it near the server room door and I'll find it. This car digging can be plenty warm. Oh I will be fine. I'll just run to my car. The weather was really nice today. Actually since you're IT I can probably talk computers with you without giving you a headache. Heard about the AMD Ryzen launch? Oh yes, and the idiot whippersnappers in the tech media are smearing it like baking grease. I really don't get all the fuss though. Sure the processor is better at workstation work than playing video games, but do any of these people put the numbers in context? I see benchmark after benchmark telling me that even the cheap Horizon can do 1080p 60. I know, but that doesn't change the unfortunate fact that I built a computer and my husband is joking about how I built a wimpy server. If he wants to see a wimpy server he can come look at this cluster I'm working on right now. On a more serious note, what did you have for a computer before? A sandy bridge. A sandy bridge. You went from sandy bridge to summit ridge and he's making fun of you. He must be drunk. No. He's just a systems analyst. Yeah well, you tell him the systems analysts who designed this system I'm trying to fix were clueless idiots who couldn't volumetrics their way out of a wet paper bag. The fact remains, there's only one person whose opinion matters when it comes to how your new computer works, and I'm looking at her right now. You know, I never thought of it like that. Even though it's my husband, he has his own systems to play with. I think I've just been reading too many reviews. That's another thing you young people do. You let people on the internet put words in your mouth instead of seeing things for yourself. Seriously now? With how people on the internet usually conduct themselves, why let them color your opinion of a product, especially when you're already trying it out for yourself? That makes sense too. You know, Dan, your insight has really helped, and I'm glad to have finally met you with how much of a legend you are, among the techies here. Thank you. Have fun with your servers. I have a Ryzen system to go play some games on waiting for me at home. Well, let's see. Pizza, Ryzen, getting away from people on the internet. I'd say our weekend turned out well. That it did. I don't know if it could get much better. Let's see what's on TV tonight. My fellow Americans, this country isn't huge anymore. Apparently, this country being huge is important to us here in the land of the free, which is why you elected me, and I'm going to deliver on my campaign promises. We are going to make America huge again. The world will cower at this great country's hugeness. America is gonna be huge. It's gonna be great. 
It's gonna be fantastic. But most importantly, it's gonna be huge. Believe me. On second thought, dear, let's go see what people are saying now about the Ryzen. Nerd up, nerd up, nerd up. Woo 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 woo. Um.